So whilst Moggy's having a nice little nap down here, here, there, I want to talk to you about why I only use manual focus lenses. And it's not some pretentious, oh, I want to fill one with the camera, although sometimes I like to pretend that's the case. Um, and it's not just because a lot of my lenses only manual focus. Even the autofocus ones, I have the autofocus switch taped in the off position. And there's a few good reasons for that. One is there is no autofocus system in the world which can get it right. It will get it close, and for sports photography, it'll get it close enough that it's perfect and it's better than manual focusing. But for my type of photography, still life, autofocus is just pointless. So let me explain why. Now, the first thing is when we're photographing things up close, the amount that is in focus is very small. Even at F10, we don't get a great deal in focus. Photographing someone across a football field at F10, the whole person's probably gonna be in focus and your autofocus will nail it. Getting the exact center of a strawberry stalk in focus on a cake, not so easy for autofocus systems, but manually focusing it, we can be sure to get it perfect. We also might decide that we need certain other elements in focus, which is where hyperfocal comes in, where you get the third in front and two thirds behind the critical focus point being sharp before we fall into bokeh. Now, if I want to have the bits in front more in focus, I might actually focus on something before the strawberry stalk in order to only end up with a third behind the stalk in focus and the two thirds in front because my actual focus point has changed. And that's a very good way to make sure you actually get the bits in focus that you want rather than relying on your autofocus system to just guess and hopefully get it right and controlling it with aperture. This way we can choose the best aperture for our lens and then choose that plane of focus within that. Now, a lot of the commercial work I do involves composites and involves backplates. Uh, backplates are when you shoot something as a backplate. So in Photoshop, you can move stuff and whatever is behind, say, this lens, which is my hand, I'll take a shot like this and a shot of just my hand. And then if I need to move the lens anywhere within this, the hand still exists behind it in a different frame. Very useful tool. Same with composites is a very similar ethos. If I have autofocus, the chances of me accidentally refocusing the lens in between these shots is very high. Any composite work will work with backplates. The lens and the focus of the lens must remain exactly the same, which is why the autofocus is taped in the off position so an assistant doesn't accidentally knock it. And then when I take the next frame, the lens moves in focus and then we have all kinds of problems. It's also why I only shoot with prime lens and not zooms because zooms have a thing called creep and they also have a, like a, a breathing issue as well with focus. And sometimes when your lens is like this upside down, it just zooms itself out and that can be particularly infuriating. Anyway, that is why still life photographers like myself only use manual focus when shooting.